Hi, welcome back. In this lecture, we'll talk about Telegon's theorem. I think it's, yeah, double L. Telegon's theorem, we'll discuss. This is one of the simplest theorems of whatever the theorems you have, okay? And this theorem is completely independent of other theorems. I mean, you don't have to have a previous theorem's knowledge to uh, get into, to understand this theorem actually, okay? And this is valid for any kind of a network. Linear, non-linear, unilateral, bilateral, time variant, time invariant, any network, this is pretty much valid. And what is all about? This is all about simply the algebraic sum of powers delivered. I mean, sum of powers, algebraic sum means along with the polarity should take. Okay, sum of power delivered is equal to sum of powers absorbed. That's it. It's over. Okay, and some people do write this thing in a little bit different way. Okay, I mean, they will write something like this. Sigma, if you have n number of elements, so n number of elements I'm having, I have to add every element's power, okay, along with its polarity. So power formula is voltage into current, and that sum will be resulting to zero. That's it. So some people do write it like this, but I recommend you go with this okay the way uh, you deal kcl when you're writing kcl sum of incoming currents equal to sum of outgoing currents something like that here power delivered is equal to power absorbed within the circuit okay so kcl based on law of conservation of charge here this one law of conservation of power or law of conservation of energy you can call okay so that's all about the simple telegon serum and the questions if you can very easily solve it power balance Okay, and we do use, I told you, right, we are using this actually without naming it as Telegon's theorem. I mean, whenever you use input power is equal to output power plus losses, this equation when you're writing, what does it mean? This is exactly Telegon's theorem. And we do apply Telegon's theorem in our day-to-day -day life, I mean, in our engineering, but we never address it actually as Telegon's theorem, but it is Telegon's theorem. Okay, so that's end of this lecture about Telegon's theorem. Thank you. See you in the next lecture.